Right, good morning guys. <clears throat> sure the EV bloke back with another video here. But I've got into my car this morning and uh, it's showing over the air update. So what I thought would be good is if we just go through and have a look uh, at what maybe is on this update and then we're going to do the updates and we're going to see what changes have actually happened. I'm hoping I'm going to get my radio stations back. I was speaking to someone the other day that said they do. But as I say, this is the first time I've got this. So this is uh, in the UK anyway. This is vehicle version V1 7.1. Um, okay, so the usual things apply. It has to have be on 20% or over to do the update, uh, which we've got here. We've got 32%. Um, so, uh, yeah. It just talks about the dashboard stuff while doing the update and everything like that. It says it's going to take about 41 minutes, so we'll probably come back after we've done it but let's just have a little look and see if uh what we can see as the new features um, are going to be there so new features add system languages um catalan croatia bulgaria ukraine add byd assistant languages in italian and portuguese add ev trip charging planner they're listening to me guys they're listening to me that's exciting EV charging planner function on navigation. Brilliant. We should have had that before. Add seat heating ventilation switch. Okay. So maybe that's going to be visible on the main screen or something. I don't quite know, quite know what that means because you've obviously got a heat seated switch in the ventilation system, but maybe there's going to be some exterior way of doing that. We'll have to find out. Um, add electric defrost switch. Add password to drive function to avoid theft. Okay, that's interesting as well. Uh, add continuous dialogue and wake up free command. Only supports English and Chinese on the BYD assistant. So some changes to the assistant, obviously, definitely. Uh, feature optimization. Optimize Android Auto and CarPlay user experience. So look what that, what that means. Probably some kind of... Um, uh, I'm not too sure. Optimize FCW and safety belt alarm volume. Optimize intelligent voice recognition accuracy. And multi accent compatibility. Internet required. Optimize intelligent voice recognition accuracy. Okay. And optimize navigation accuracy in weak signal conditions. Excellent. So there's a bit on there of interest. I think the the two things that sort of stick out to me is probably the password function. Let's see how that works. Um, the electric defrost switch. Let's see what that's going to be all about. But I think the biggest one for me is the thing I've been crying out for, uh, and I've mentioned this to BYD before. We need to have be able to EV, evenly to, to EV trip our cars using the navigation. I think that's a really important one. Navigation is to charges. That's what I really want to see. So I want to see how. And I want to see how dialed in that's going to be, because it could be quite generic and basic, or it can be very good. So we're just going to see what that, that what happens to that. So there's some interesting things on here, I think. So let's do the update then. So we're going to upgrade now. And of course, then, as per normal, we'll come back once it's upgraded and uh, we'll see, uh, you know, what that does. So during the during the process, the vehicle will not be able to drive. Please confirm whether it's a continued upgrade. Yes. Checking the status. Upgrade will start soon. Let's put upgrade now. Okay, so it's going to start its upgrading process. So this is obviously going to take a little while. Um, they usually take about forty minutes, between forty minutes and. Um, an hour generally is what I found in the past. So what we'll do is we'll come back um, once the update's done or when it's getting close to being done and we'll take it from there. There's some interesting things here, guys. Uh, if you, like me, have been wanting the EV planning in the car, which I think is very important. It's, it's actually really important, you know, EV planning. We don't realize because if it's going to work off the battery management system, which I guess it probably is for it to be effective, Combining it with the um, uh, combining it with the actual 
uh, car itself. So in other words, the two are married together as you get on a lot of cars nowadays. Um, look at the state of my screen. Um, then that could be really, really beneficial for road trips. As you probably saw, my video has gone up from yesterday, um, which uh, please do share because it's all about leaving the climate on and stuff like that. And I've done a V2L on it, checking the V2L, uh, the vehicle to load. Uh, so uh, check out that one from yesterday. But that also ties in with this one, because if you can have good EV planning with a V2L and all that kind of stuff and being able to leave climate on, which we found out we could do, if you add up all those things together. What that basically means is you could probably road trip this car. You've still got the slow charging speed. Um, but, you know, this is only my third update, guys, by the way. I don't know. If you, maybe you can leave in the comments how many you've had. But we don't seem to be in the UK, at least, getting very many updates on these cars. That's only my third in what is now coming up to 11 months of having the vehicle. So you can see there's a lot of cars that do weekly updates. Okay, there might be minor bug fixes and things like that. But um, uh, I suppose what you can say is when you get the BYD ones, they tend to be fairly major, every one of them, because they're, they're sort of quarterly is what I can sort of roughly work out, or perhaps a bit less than that, you're getting them, you know. So that's on four percent so we'll come back at about 98 percent or something like that somewhere around there and we'll continue with the uh we'll continue with it from there so okay guys so speak to you soon yeah right okay guys so uh it seems to have i was just checked it at 90 percent and i went to get my shoes to come out and it already cut off so we i think we've missed the finalization of it but we just cut off anyway so so let's put this on and see what it's all about. So there we are, upgraded. So there we go, guys. So there's the update. So there's nothing new on there that I can see at all on that one. But what I can see here is um, I can see that they've got the heated seats. So the heated seats are down here. That's a nice little touch. At least you don't have to go very go into the menus to find those things. It's going to be quite handy in the winter, really, to just have those there. So let's go home. Right, let's go into navigation. What I'll probably do is I'll do a video on this. So here we go. Access data input. Menu. Allow. Taking a while. Hmm. Okay. Oh, the map layout is very different straight away. Um, you can see that um, very, very well. Uh, no issue with that at all. Now you've got charging points here. That's. Uh, that comes up with those so i suppose relevance charge filter so let's have a look at that because you what you can probably do is uh oh i see you can prioritize um various ones that's quite good that's not bad actually uh and select all <coughs> i mean i wouldn't use connected curve because there'll be slow charges uh hyundai wouldn't select that one either uh what we'll probably do we'll just select all for now so they all come up but what we'll do is i'll do a video on this because obviously it's a bit more in depth than everything but that's a different layout quite a bit of a different layout to to what we had before there i, I believe um avoidance room uh show on map what's that mean show on map Oh, I see. EV chargers. Uh, food and coffee, always. Um, yeah. Parking, of course. Shopping. There we go. There's a few. We've got two D, two, uh, the map orientation north up mm 
today okay. EV preferences charging speed right good so we do a little bit of one on this now so we don't want uh, we don't want that and we don't want that or I won't be quite wanting that uh, fast charge I guess and super fast yes so that's good. So that's got that one there. So there we are, guys. So that's a brief look at that. Um, let's see if there's anything else um, that we can see immediately on here with this new update. Um, is there anything new we can see there? Spotify utility tools all looks the same. Um, I do want to check the radio because the radio was uh, uh wasn't working for me generally speaking so um i've got the volume down i just want to see whether uh it actually comes on now or not yes looks like it does so that's good wasn't working on mine before anyway so that's sorted so that's I think that's the main things there really. So it's the languages on the navigator on the voice assist assistant, um, and I think there's one or two changes to that as well. But what I'll do is I'll look into this a bit deeper. So I'll do a deeper dive of this, and then we'll do a we'll do a navigation. We'll see if we can route it to. We'll see if we can uh, route to somewhere and see whether it plans our charging stops, which is what I think should be on this update. So. That'd be handy. Um, so yeah, uh, excellent stuff. This is a nice better layout here now as well, I find. That's pretty good. Like that. Reset view. Coordinates and all that. Excellent, right. Okay, so, um, so that's it, guys, really. I mean, there's, I don't think there's really anything else to show you on here as for now. What's that one? Is that a... Oh, there's a rotate there. Was that there before? Probably was. I just didn't see it. Um, I wonder if it rotates in Apple CarPlay. I know in some countries, the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay actually... Uh, you can actually... Um, use the uh no no it still doesn't work so uh i thought it was going to tilt but no doesn't doesn't support the rotation i think in some countries you can rotate in apple carplay and android auto but anyway that's obviously not on here well that's about it guys i, th I think i'm just gonna be boring you to pieces here but it's just to give you a, a, a rough idea so the navigation is really different so uh, which is important i feel and I'm certainly not saying that I've had anything to do with <laughs> influencing BYD for that, but I'm sure there's plenty of customers out there that have been complaining about the routing system. It's not good, not very accurate, pretty unusable, and also doesn't even route to places, which is just ridiculous, really. So it looks a little bit more intuitive. It's definitely a different layout. Um, I can see that. So we'll see. So I'll do a follow-up video to this. I'm going to put this up on, on the channel now. Um, you guys to at least see that there's a new update and be aware of that um and uh yeah outside of that it looks like um <clears throat> so that's the main sort of standout functions you've got the heated seats there of course at a touch of a button now rather than going into the menus to find those so that's quite handy um and um your climates there of course let's see if you've still got the three finger thing yeah you've still got the three fingers uh, that way and that way, so that's that's okay. You can use that as a push, which I've used a few times actually. Let's see if there's any different themes. If there's any different themes or not? Nope, looks like it's the same themes. Wallpapers are probably the same. Um, actually, they're a bit different, I think. Could be different. Suppliers have a different one on there. A nice sort of mountain layout one 
which I thought was really nice. That's gone now, so I uh, don't see that one there anymore. But there we are, so that's it. That's the basic um, uh, situation. Smart charging. DAB browser manual. BYD store, as we went into a little bit earlier, doesn't seem to have very much on that, really. So, but yeah, outside of that, that's it. So, what I'll do then, guys, I'll um, we'll go. I'll give me time to work with it a little bit. I'm going to go into it a bit deeper, and then I'm going to do another video on how the route, how to route on here. Let's see how that all looks, and any other things I can find um, that were not on here before that are or have been improved. I'll put those on as well. Um, actually, let's just go down here and just see if we can see through this way there's anything different. Another way of doing it, of course. That all looks the same. Display um, is there. Uh, a call coming in there. Okay, so I'll, co I'll come back to you guys. Right, so that's it, guys. So that's um, nothing seems to be on display. We've got our version um, all the same there, I think. So there's not a lot of difference here that I can see, really. I say apart from um, apart from that. So I'll, I'll come back to you with a um, up to date version of the navigation and just anything else I find on here that's been updated that's of interest to the channel. Um, I'll put it on there. But as I say, other than that, um, so I'll catch you on the next one, guys, and uh, have a good day.